we've been telling you about the cost of housing in Montana, but there are some creative efforts happening right here in Billings to try and make things more affordable. And this empty lot will soon be an example of that, a 3D printed home. It's a, it's a cool opportunity for Montana to be at the forefront of something that's going to dramatically change the industry, not only here, but across the nation. It doesn't look like much now, but soon this gravel patch will be transformed in a way that Montana has never seen, using technology. We can't keep doing what we've always done and expect different results. So we're going to have to try something new. Tim Stark is reimagining the way people think about construction, using a 3D printer to build faster and eventually more affordable housing. So we're trying to find out you know, how we can build something that will last longer than these and perform better than what we've conventionally built in the past. Stark and his company, Bespoke of Montana, have been working on this plan for years, becoming the first to gain the state's approval to build 3D printed homes in 2022. They just need the printer to arrive from Dubai to get started on their first print, a duplex. At least a year, year and a half in the making. So we have really been spending a lot of hours making sure that we've got all of the pieces laid out exactly the way that we need to to do the right thing. Partnering with Homefront to build the first 3D printed home, it's just another way to attempt to solve the housing crisis Billings faces. The home will be printed in the same area that man camps from Williston will be recycled and made into apartment buildings. I am a native Montanan and it always seems that Montana is a few years behind the rest of the country, if not the world. And in this particular case, we're actually at the forefront of it. A step in the right direction with two more units soon to be on the market. I would anticipate that somebody would get to spend Christmas in here this year. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.